Hi everyone, this is Arun. Welcome back to another video in the tutorial series. Today, we're gonna to take a look at compound layout feature in OTBI. And we're gonna use view selector feature to switch between one layout and the other. In the last video, we looked at how to use the view selector option to switch between uh, two different views. So in the same layout, we had two different views. One was tab a tabular view and one was the graphical view. And the last video, we looked at how to switch between a tabular view and a graphical view and vice versa. All right, so if you haven't checked out that video, I'll leave a link uh, in the description and you can check that out before you watch this video. All right, let's get started. I'm in the BI catalog. We're gonna look at the invoice details analysis that I've created. Let me edit. So in here you see that we have one uh, layout, which is the compound layout. And we have one view, which is the tabular view. And uh, you already know, and you know that you can add additional views into the same layout uh, going to the uh, create view option, right? And I just wanna make sure that uh, there are no All right, so up top on the uh, options, you'll see four different options for the compound layout feature. The first option is to create the compound layout. Second option is to duplicate the compound layout. Third option is to delete. And the fourth option is to rename the compound layout. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna duplicate this compound layout and I'm gonna rename this to um, Let's say detailed view. Okay, so we have a detailed view. Now I'm gonna create a new one, create compound layout. And I'm gonna add a view in here. So both ways, so you can either duplicate or you can create a new layout. If you create a new layout, you have to add a view. So let me select table. It uses the same fields that we have selected in the previous view. It uses the same fields, but doesn't obviously have the formatting because that was not applied to this layout. It was applied to the uh, the other compound layout view. So uh, you don't see the alternate colored rows, etc. right? So in here, um, let's do one thing. Let's make this a summary table. So let's go into edit. And I'm going to um, remove the invoice date field from here, invoice number, invoice description. And I don't know why there's two invoice amounts, so let's get rid of one. So we have supplier name and invoice amount, and this is what we want in our uh, summary analysis, okay? So in the second layout, we have a summary table. Let's go ahead and create, um, create a, a graphical view as well. So let's do graph bar and uh, let's do recommended subtype. And you're gonna get this error, don't worry about it. Let's uh, move back to this view, come back here, and you'll see the graph view here, right? So obviously you cannot do anything here, but in the views section, you're gonna see the graph that's that we just added. Select that graph and, or highlight the graph and click on edit. So we just have to move certain things around. So let's remove the invoice amount because there are two invoice amount. Um, I don't know why, but let's remove that. Uh, no graph prompts. We're gonna make this pretty simple. All right. So once we um, remove everything from the graph prompts, once we remove the invoice amount, duplicate invoice amount field from there, we have a 
nice looking graph. All right, so click on done. Now we have a detail view and we have a summary view which has a table and a graphical view. Let's rename this. I'm gonna rename this to summary view. All right, click OK. And so we have detail view, summary view, and we have this one. And we can go ahead and delete this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna include a view selector option here. So go to views, other views, and say view selector. And in here, click on the edit view option. I'm gonna say uh, select view. That's the caption. And what we want is the detail view and the summary view. So let's have this summary view first and then the detail view. You can switch um, using these uh, arrow buttons. But for now, our default one when the user opens this analysis is gonna be the summary view and then they can switch to the detail view. All right, click on done. And let me save. And if I do this, you can see that it switches between the summary view and the detail view. So it basically allows for the same analysis to be used to look at the summary and the detail analysis. And the difference between this one and the last video that I created was, in the last video, it was one compound layout and we were switching between the views that were part of that layout, not between layouts. All right, so save this. Let's go back to the catalog and see how it looks. Let's open the invoice summary, sorry, invoice details analysis. And you can see that by default, it's gonna show you the summary view and you can switch between the detail view and back to the summary view. So this is how you can use comp multiple compound layouts in your analysis and switch between the different layouts. Uh, again, if you haven't watched the last video, uh, take a look at it. You'll understand the concept of view selectors. All right, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved this video and want to see more videos on Oracle ERP Cloud and Oracle EPM, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.